welcome back to the channel my name is Joan I am in Jamaica I hope all is well in this video I present another of my waking thought and a quick disclaimer they are my waking thoughts that I am presenting here and my own interpretation if they appeal to you in any way then I am happy but this is not to be taken as a message from me to you they are just my waking thought that I am presenting here so do not take it as being a message to you unless it does resonate with you and then you have to seek further clarity from the one who gives waking thoughts. I had this thought on February 7, 2021. Yes, that's quite some time. But I have chronicled some of these thoughts as I told you already. The thought was Russian roulette. Those were the words that came into my spirit as I awake from sleep on February 7, 2021. Over the many months or two years, three years, 21, 22, 23, two years that have passed, this thought, you know, these two words, they really bother me somewhat. Russian roulette. Because as far as I know, this game of chance with one's life is a very, very serious game to be playing with one's life. And I can't see the relevance to me of those words. And so I keep thinking about it and asking the divine to make, you know, make an awareness to my mind of what the message is. Because here it is. I have loaded the proverbial pistol. The bullets are in the chamber. I have spun the barrel, so I don't know where the bullet is lying. And then here it is now. I have to pull the trigger, which could end my life. So this is a... <laughs> this is not sitting well with me. You know, because I am saying waking thoughts are important. And am I playing Russian roulette with my life? And what aspect of my life I am playing this deadly game? I don't know. I have done some introspection and I can't seem to be getting anywhere with the thought. So I have rested the thought two years and now it is still haunting me and so I went to Google to try to have an understanding if it has you know Russian roulette if it has any biblical connotation and sure it does because several writings were presented and basically they were saying that we are playing or I am playing Russian roulette with my life if I do not accept, you know, <laughs> Christ as my personal savior. And um, that's the basis of their argument in every way. A religious Russian roulette or Russian roulette. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. And so my personal interpretation goes something like this. We are seeking God the divine, the great master, God of the universe, Allah, whatever name we choose to refer to our God as the superpower. In my mind and my interpretation is that I might be asking for some favor. I'm asking God for direction. I might be asking for something or more than likely um, something was promised to me. I have received this in prophecy. I have felt it within myself that there is a promise, a prophecy on my life. And then it's a situation where maybe the outcome or the result of the prophecy as had been presented to me 
but that is not the the specs you know that i had created for that which i need so when a presentation is made to me then i reject it or i have been rejecting it because that is not the specs that i desire and so i am playing russian roulette i have this one chance of benefiting from what has been presented to me one in six one in nine one in many chances and yet i am refusing and so i am playing the russian roulette to refuse a chance is negative yeah just as in the real you know suicidal game of russian roulette that one bullet you know can be deadly that fatal moment there are other chances of me surviving so in this case this one chance that i have to benefit from that which I seek. I, <laughs> the trigger has been pulled, the gate has been opened, and I am refusing to die to self and to accept that which is on the other side. So because I am up in myself, and I want this, and I want that, and I do not want that. I am still struggling. I have not received that which I was promised, and I can't say that it did not come my way. I am saying the specs that I had for myself, those specs I am not seeing, whether it is in a person, whether it is in employment, whether it's um, to travel, whatever it is. I am not seeing what I have in my mind's eye. And so that, you know, Russian roulette is being played by me. I am playing game with myself and the things that are to propel me forward. Now I have to change direction. Since this thought or these waking thoughts are still haunting me, <laughs> then I have to change direction. Now I have to activate the spirit of discerning and, you know, to be a better listener, to better be able to take advices and, you know, to, you know, die, to make self-sacrifices, you know, to die to self and to accept what the universe really have for me because truly i think that there's much there for me to benefit from and maybe some of you who are even listening to my voice today can relate to these things but as i said these are my waking thoughts and i am sharing them with you on this platform i do not know how to interpret waking thoughts i don't even know if my interpretation right now is <laughs> is what it should be so if anyone has any knowledge of interpretation share them with me now educate me so that i will be better able to have a very very successful life because i'm sure the universe is um, leading me into the path that i need to travel Maybe the path less traveled. I've never heard persons talking about waking thoughts. And so this is the road that I probably am meant to travel. But I do not know the route well. So help me out here now. My friends, this is what I have for us today. I hope um, I was able to encourage us and to know that someone out there understand what I am doing and will be willing to help me. So until next time, my name is June and I'm sending you love, much love from Jamaica. Be blessed guys. Keep focused.